In a previous video, we installed Design Engineering's boom mat and new carpet in the Horsepower Monsters Project Camaro. And now it's time for a great big cherry on top. Instead of trying to recover the worn out, creaky, and flat as a pancake original seats, we decided to go with the Summit Racing Seat Kit featuring Procar's high back rally seats. Compared to the originals, these new seats feature deep bolsters on both the seat and the back, and they look like they'll be much more comfortable. Plus, they're part of a kit Summit put together with everything we need to bolt right up to the Camaro. Now, as part of the seat kit, Procar includes these seat adjusters. Now, this is not flimsy stamp steel metal. This is pretty beefy stuff and really impressive. Now, let me slide this out of the way, and I'll show you the last portion of our kit. Finally, we've got the seat mounting bracket. Again, it's nice heavy steel, so nothing's gonna be bending or flexing. And this is part of the kit that Summit puts together with Procar because every car is different and this bracket is made specifically for our Camaro. Of course, there are a few assembly steps before we can drop the seats into the Camaro. Gently lay the seat on its back on a clean surface so you can attach the two seat sliders with the included hardware. Once the sliders are bolted up, the next step is to connect the releases on both sides with this heavy wire. Make sure the sliders are aligned, then loop the hooked end of the wire into the release tab on the left hand side. The release lever on the right side has multiple holes to choose from, but I found the hole closest to the pivot works best. From there it's pretty simple, bend the wire into an elbow at the correct length, thread it into the hole on the release lever, then bend it back on itself to make sure it won't eventually work its way loose. Now a gentle pull on the handle will release the locks on either side. Next, bolt up the seat brackets. For the second gen Camaro at least, the brackets are specific to the left and right side of the car, so make sure you check first. The brackets also have a few mounting positions for you to control seat height, but the Camaro's low roof and swept back windshield practically requires mounting the seats as low as possible. And now we're finally ready to get to the fun part. Oh, nice. Now I'm feeling like a kid at Christmas. If you remember earlier from the previous video, when I used set screws instead of bolts to mark my spot, and didn't really explain myself. Now you can see why. Trying to find a bolt hole in the floorboard of a car through a small slit and heavy carpet can be an exercise in frustration. That's why I prefer to leave set screws in place to mark the locations of the bolt holes that secure the seat frame to the car. You can't do this with a bolt that has a standard side head on top, but the set screws allow you to drop the frame right over the top, then replace each with a proper bolt one at a time. This really can make your life a lot easier. And we're done. Time to test it out. I love it. Now all that's left to do is everything all over again. But that's okay, I won't make you hang around for that. There, actually that wasn't bad at all. And as you can tell, sitting in the driver's seat is even that much sweeter. Now, there's nothing left for me to do but enjoy the new interior. You can stay if you want. But I'm going for a drive.